Hi YouTube, it's Mike with HHO Connection. Today I want to show you an idea that I came up with on how to put a um, HHO generator in the trunk of your car. Now before I get into this, let me just start by saying if you plan on doing something like this, please make sure you've got really, really good flash protection. Uh, at your bubbler you should have a flash port or some sort of flash protection. You don't want a flashback going into the trunk of your car. Okay, that being said, here's what I came up with. I went down to Walmart in their battery department I found these plastic boxes. This one is the this one says Snaptop Marine Group 24 battery box. They had several sizes available and this was the smallest one and I thought this would work out well for me. It was around seven dollars. Um, has a lid that comes off. I managed to squeeze everything in here just fine. This is the hose that's going to end up going to the bubbler and this is just temporary but I have my leads just draped out of the back. I will plan on mounting those more permanently in the future but just to show you what I I was anxious to show you this box and the setup that I had, so here's what I got so far. The lid just pops off like so. And inside here, I'll show you it in detail in just a second, but I've got a little reservoir that I bought in Napa for about $10 in my EBN dry cell, and it's connected with a couple of hoses. I'm going to cut the camera, I'm going to go in really tight, and I'll show you in detail what I've done inside the box. Okay, this is the box with the top off. What you see I've done here is I've taken a little the tiny little reservoir here that I got at Napa, I had to put this fitting on there and I had to drill a hole in there so that my tube coming in from the dry cell would go in. Um, I did have to raise this up a couple inches at first. I started with it a little bit lower, but it didn't seem to have the flow going that I needed and then and after a few hours the cell started getting a little bit warm. So I tried raising it up a few inches. I'll show you the back in a second how I had to modify the back to make that work. But it still left me enough room that I can put the lid on this thing without an issue. The dry cell itself, I took out two bolts. One bolt over here and the same bolt on the opposite side. I don't think you can see it here. But what I did, I'll try to turn this so you can see it here. I went from the back of the box over here and I drilled a hole that lined up with those two holes in the dry cell and just ran the bolts for the dry cell from the back of the box all the way through the front. So that's actually helping to hold that in there for me now. That dry cell is not going anywhere. It's permanently mounted in that box. In the back of here, you can see the reservoir. I'll try to turn that for you. There we go. You can see I've got, well, you can't see it from that angle, but I've got one bolt at the bottom down here that's holding the bottom of the reservoir, and the two top holes didn't line up anymore, so I just took a couple zip ties to hold those guys in place. Now I've noticed that there's, there's much better reservoirs out there and it's just a matter of me getting my hands on some. I noticed there's some out there that have the ridges going down the sides that you can actually put the bolts in the sides. That's probably the route I'm going to go once I get my hands on those reservoirs. Anyway, that's the setup guys. I'll try to get some more shots here and let you look at it. Well that's my idea for putting an EBN dry cell in the trunk of your car. Now, one of my customers has one of these in his Ford Ranger and he's talking about pulling it out from underneath his hood and putting one of these boxes in the back of his truck. He just feels like it's a lot more easy to get to if you need to maintain the thing. So I hope you liked my idea. Once again, I've got EBN dry cells. I just got a brand new batch in so please do me a favor. If you're going to buy a, a dry cell, get an EBN dry cell and go to my website, HHO Connection get them from me. Thanks.